I'm ready for these snacks. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest. If you have watched my Mexico vlogs, then you might have recognized her. She's my little sister. As you guys saw from last month's snack crate box, I got a new one. And this one is a really, really exciting one. Um, it's a Hawaiian box, so obviously I needed to get it and invite my sister over so we could try some Hawaiian snacks. I'm really eager to see if I know any of the snacks. Um, I did get a drink and I approve of the drink, but it's a surprise to her. So without further ado, are you guys ready? All right, let's start. So this one has a little QR code so you can listen to some music. So we're gonna get some upbeat tropical tunes <laughs> is what it says. All right, so I am going to share some fun facts because that's the one cool thing about Snack Crate is that they give you a whole bunch of fun facts and a little history um, about the place that you're trying it from. So um, the first one I want to say is the people of Hawaii consume the most spam per capita in the U.S., which I approve. True. <laughs> Hawaii grows nearly um, 42 acres every year. Hawaii was the first state to ban the usage of plastic bags back in 2015. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. The Dole Plantation is home to the world's largest maize in the world. Wow, I didn't know that. Not even pineapple maize, just largest maize. But it is a pineapple maize. It is a pineapple maize. And the Hawaii state fish is the... Humu humu nuku nuku apua'a. It's a trigger fish. Uh, great. All right, I am excited. Ooh, and they give you a little recipe too for taro rolls. Mm. You need poi, so um, it's kind of hard to get here in the, sure, the Midwest. Yeah. All right, so the first thing that we are gonna try are Maui onion chips. I'm just gonna go Ooh. from the first thing in the bag to the box, or the first thing in the box. Um, I've had these before. They're delicious. I would say they're not my favorite Maui onion chip brand, but they're pretty good. I've never had them. At least I don't think. Then you can have the first one. Okay. Oh, like a chip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I was expecting them to look like onions. All right. Your average potato chip. Tastes like a Funyun. <laughs> <laughs> it does taste like a Funyun. And I love onions, so these are good. Mm -hmm. I had a ten. <laughs> Recommend. I love Maui onion chips. Very good. The next brand that we have is, or the next food item that we have is Hawaiian brand jalapeno chips. Are they spicy? I don't know. They're jalapeno fired. This is actually my favorite Maui onion brand, Hawaiian brand. But it's a pink bag. What's a pink bag? The onion brand, onion, Maui onion brand is like a pinkish bag. Oh. This is not the Maui onion brand. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, our it's green. <laughs> I don't like spicy. This is a good song, by the way. Good playlist. Doesn't smell spicy. It smells like cheddar, like jalapeno cheddar. Kind of. All right. Oh. It's not spicy. No. Not at all. It's kind of vinegary at first, yeah. and then, like this, it's not spicy, but like the spice creeps up <coughs> on you. Yeah. You okay there? Yeah. Do you want to recant your, it's not spicy? It's not spicy. But. No, just like the powder kind of hits <laughs> the back of your throat. Once but these are really like covered in, like that powder. powder. And a one to five, how would you rate the spiciness level? One to five. five. I five the spiciest. Personally, I would probably rate it like a two, maybe like a one point five. I agree. Okay. I'd say like a one or one and a half. Yeah. Not bad. Next thing in our box are these Kaki mochi cookies.
I love so. mochi crunch. <laughs> so are they gonna be sweet or salty? Well, probably both, because mochi crunch has like that sweet outer layer. You think so? That like glaze, weird glaze that it's covered in that makes it shiny. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do, but I don't find it sweet. It's like sweet and sour. Like that kind of sweet, not like sugar sweet. Yeah, I suppose. Oh. I mean, it looks like a picture. That looks more like a nut to me. From the camera, I thought it was an everything bagel. <laughs> I'm an influencer. <laughs> it's a cookie. Yeah. Mmm. They're sweet. It's how like I wasn't expecting it to be sweet. It's weird because it's like a shortbread cookie, yeah. but like when you breathe in, it tastes like mochi crunch. Yeah. It's the weirdest I thing. I don't like it. Like I'll eat it, but like I would never pick this off the shelf. But I don't really like shortbread. What I think this is. Never mind, you can finish it. <laughs> I think it's a shortbread <laughs> cookie dusted with crunch, with like the powder of mochi crunch. Like yeah. mochi crunch was ground up and dusted on top. Yeah. I'd rather just have mochi crunch. Interesting. I'm excited to try these. These are choco mochi. It smells straight like chocolate when you Ooh, open it. Yeah, but like the good chocolate, not like Hershey's <laughs> chocolate. I'm excited for this. Me too. Oh, it looks like a little paw print. Like some, mine looks like a little. <clears throat> Just from the looks of it, it makes me think of like, um, like Crunch a Bunch. Yeah. Oh, it's hard. Very much like Crunch a Bunch. It's harder than I was expecting. The chocolate's good. Mm-hmm. I don't get any macadamia nut. Mm-mm. But the mochi is more like the mochi crunch. Yeah. It's more, this is more like a not salty chocolate covered mochi crunch. I love these. They're good. Cause that is like the mochi crunch. Just covered in chocolate. And I love bunch of crunch, like the crunch bars. Oh, look at it though. It is actually. Yeah. I didn't realize that before. Oh. <laughs> okay. So it actually is mochi crunch chocolate covered. Cause you can see the shapes. If you buy like, Package mochi crunch. These are the shapes that you'll most likely see them in. Like the rice crunch. Like the stars, yeah. Yeah. That's so fun. I didn't even notice that before. The next one that we have are macadamia nut taro shortbread. I'm excited to try these because I do, I do love taro. Diamond Bakery is pretty popular with a bunch of these like confectionery type stuff, like the shortbreads or like the, the other cookies. Just shortbread. Mm hmm Don't taste taro or macadamia nut. Well, I have a nut on mine. Well, it's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's good. Way better than the other shortbreads. This I'd eat with coffee. But. All right, so Diamond Bakery is the largest um, like cracker and cookie manufacturer in Hawaii. Um, but it reminds me a lot of the Big Island cookies. So, to be honest, I like the Big Island cookies better. I like these actually. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. All right, now we're getting to some smaller items. <clears throat> All right, so the next one we have are seaweed crackers, which they don't really look like seaweed crackers. They're not seaweed crackers, they're no. just rice crackers. Yeah. Okay, these are just rice crackers, they're not seaweed crackers, but. Um, I've definitely seen these a lot before though. Really? Yeah. Mm. They're not my favorite, but that's why I don't I don't eat them. Ooh. Very hard. Uh -huh. There's a little sweet coating. Mm-hmm. They're like They're like the coating of Mochi Crunch. That's the coating of Mochi this Crunch. This is more sweeter than that though. No, nope, but like that's what it is. Mm -hmm. I love this. Those here, are delicious. Here you can have mine. Yeah. <laughs> I am yeah. The texture and um, like aftertaste is kind of like the Quaker rice crackers though, just with like, without the glaze. That's my favorite thing so far. All right, the next one that we have are 
Hawaii pineapple pretzels. I have never seen these before. Mm -hmm. um, they kind of look like the um, Pocky. Yeah. Pocky. But more pretzely than mm -hmm. crockery. Sorry. Sold exclusively in Hawaii. These crunchy sticks are infused with pineapple goodness. The pineapples. Oh, pineapple, like, right when you open really? it, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. They're just, like, pucky. Yeah, except there's no chocolate co yeah. covering. It's just a pretzel. <laughs> Very pineapple-y. Yeah. Whoa. I don't know if I care for these kinds of things. It's not pretzel -y. Mm mm. It's like the same exact stick as a pocky. Yeah. The pineapple actually is a lot lighter in flavor than it yeah. is in small. It's very, very light. I like them. Yeah, I actually like them. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to, but... It's not sweet. Or it's like, it's mm -hmm. not like... On a scale from one to five, one being zero sweetness, I'd say this was a two. Yeah. It's good. I come. All right. Next on our list is a high chew, and this is an acai flavor. I love high chews, specifically the apple. Oh, the really? Sour apple. Really? Mm-hmm. No, I like like the pineapple one. I don't think I've had the pineapple one. High chew makes so many different flavors. Yeah. I've never heard of the acai. Yeah. Sorry, this is kind of I mean, I like this. Oh, it has like acai seeds in it too. I mean, I like it. Oh, yeah, I like this a lot. Mm -hmm. It's like creamy. Mm -hmm. I prefer like the salty or chocolate. All right, next that we have is pineapple princess or pineapple shortbread. Come take half. I guess that was a little bit harder than. There we go. All right. It smells funky. <laughs> it tastes like a Fig Newton. <laughs> but pineapple. It's very subtle pineapple though. I don't taste much pineapple. Uh-uh. <laughs> mm -mm. That gets a four. <laughs> um. Yeah, this is like a little bit more shortbready than a Fig Newton, but not good. <laughs> Don't get it. <laughs> All right, going back to actual candy candy again. I am excited to try these next things because oh, they are some of my favorites. We have Lihi Moi. Lihi Moi Rainbow Belts. And I'm not so jazzed about like the rainbow belt part, but the Lihi Moi. What's that so one excited. candy that we'd get that's like coated in Lihi Moi? Kinda just, it kinda looks like these Is it a hard things. candy? No, it's like chewy. It looks like... Um, is it a plum? It's Maybe. A, it's a plum, not a, like it's... Oh, okay. But it's like coated in that. Yeah. So good. It's like the Hawaiian tahini. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm. I love the heat wine. Mm hmm I say more sour than Yeah. I wanna say more sour than the Lihi Moi flavor. I'd say it's more sour than salty. And not yeah. and not really not to, not to, not a ton <clears throat> of sweetness. Yeah. Alright. Second to last thing in here. Leaky Moi Drops. Oh. Oh, it's a plum candy. Yeah. So growing up, if you ever had a sore throat, my mom and my grandma would give us just the plum part. Just what's in the center. And it just had like this sourness to it that just kind of like burned but felt so good at the same time. <laughs> So it's really nostalgic and 
I just love the Himoy so much. Mm. You just put it all in? Yeah, I did. It's a little bit salty, actually. This one's a little bit more salty than another one. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> it's weird with that candy around it. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish the candy part wasn't there. Yeah, and it was like just the plum. <laughs> it reminds me. <laughs> it's hard to keep it in your mouth. Of those candy apple suckers that are like coated in the caramel because mm -hmm. like you just want the plum so you have to like suffer through the candy. <laughs> the candy part's kind of flavorless. Yeah. It just tasted like candied sugar. So like yeah. if you boiled the candy to it's like not quite caramel but just before caramel. So it's like slightly more than just plain sugar. Probably just to balance out how, how like salty the lihimoi and sour. Plum. Yeah but I kind of just wish I had just the plum part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the last thing that we have is the drink. I am so, so pumped about this. I'm so excited. This is one of the good brands. If you want to get tropical flavored juices. The only good brand. Um, there's like two, but this is one of the good ones. Um, guava juice, they make a really great guava juice. And this one, Lily Koi Passion Fruit. I actually like it more than guava juice. I love it. I'm so excited about this one. I think, from what I remember, I prefer the guava, but I can't remember the last time I had the Lily Koi, so I guess we'll see. It's my favorite. It's one of those like bittersweet things, because I only have one, so it's like, I want to drink it right now, but I also want to save it. But then like... Save it for what? Yeah. So this is what it looks like. And it's not like carbonated. No just juice in a can. Alright. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Oh, My that's favorite. so good. It's like a sweet nectar. That's I don't even know how to else to describe it. <clears throat> I don't know. It's to like me, almost it's orangey. Like similar to the guava. Because mm -hmm. of just that like nectary juice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is going to be it for today. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. Thanks for feeding me. <laughs> um, so not, all these tags you've never really seen. Before. Um, not like specifically in this form. Like obviously, I've had leaky moi, I've had mochi, and macadamia, but not like. In a shortbread or yeah, in a shortbread or, or a pretzel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. I've heard a couple of these brands before, and some of them I will still continue to eat. Um, but with that, if you guys want to see what we get up to next, or if you want to see the next snack crate box, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe <laughs> thanks for that you're welcome like she said don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one <coughs> bloopers mm. <laughs> hi guys welcome to my youtube channel <laughs> um cute i'm ready to do snacks <laughs> <laughs> Full list of yeah. Why did you have to interrupt me and look Sorry. in the middle of the <laughs> Start again. <laughs> My foot's all asleep. Did you finish your high chori? No. I just swallowed it. <laughs> Nami or unagi? <coughs> it's not really stuck. <coughs> the powder. Yeah. Tell us what your favorite snack is in the comments below. <laughs> You're so lucky that I actually like finished swallowing my drink. Spit take! Oh my gosh. <laughs>